Hey guys! So in this video, I'm going to show you how we started playing the What Do You Meme game while we're in quarantine. So we play it over Zoom. It's pretty easy once you get all the pieces up and everyone does a round or two. I hope you find this really helpful and that you stay safe and healthy and you still have some fun. I've always wanted to play this game with pictures of myself and my friends because I thought it would be really fun. And I will show you how we do that. I'm going to show you everything that you need for the game and if you choose to play with the actual game pictures someone would just have to hold up the pictures to the camera. But yeah, let's get into it. So what you will need as the host, you will need a computer so that you can share your screen and have multiple browser windows open because there's going to be a lot, a lot of um, pieces to it. You're going to need a second device, preferably a phone, and Zoom. And then also you're going to need the What Do You Mean game, or at least the statement cards if you don't have the pictures. So you can even, I believe, order an expansion pack. And the expansion packs, some of them are just the statement cards without the pictures. Okay, so what you will need as the host also this is an optional thing, but Google Slides so that you can have your own meme pictures on it. Okay, so here is the What Do You Meme Google Slideshow that I created. And it's really simple. You just add a slide, add a picture. And here you can go to Share. And then you can insert your friends' emails and they will be able to insert their own pictures. You can also randomize these slides. So just go to add-ons, slides randomizer, start. And if you don't have the slides randomizer, you can always just get it through these get add-on section and then you would search randomizer and it should pop up and you should be able to add it on. That's basically how this works. Okay, host, so I'm going to go through the list of everything you're going to do to set up and then I will walk you through it. So create a Zoom meeting, but don't invite anyone yet. Create a Slido account and a meeting. You're also going to create a scoreboard from a website. Then also you can pull up a timer if you choose to use a timer, but you do not have to. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Google Slides, if you choose to. Um, Make sure that you turn on your randomizer, which mine is on already. And then you're going to pick that up, get that out of the way. You can minimize it. And then you can also zoom in for a better view. <laughs> okay. And then this is going to be the picture that everyone's going to judge. Okay, then let's get the scoreboard up. So once you go to the keep the score, you are gonna to go to start here, and you are going to pick the scoreboard with rounds. Okay, so I already created one, and uh, then you're also going to add in all of your players. So here, the Keep the Score website is going to not only be your score sheet, but it will also serve as the order of players. So Brittany will be the judge first, then Eli will be the judge, then so on and so forth. Okay, and then you're gonna go to add scores and it's really easy to add the scores. Just plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Ready to go. And you can set this up also once everyone joins your Zoom meeting. And then you're also going to pull up the online stopwatch. This is what you will get. It's a really busy website, but once you go to the countdown, it's really simple. There's lots of ads. It's just for something. Okay, then you're going to fix it to where it's not too big and then kind of put it over here. And then you're going to open up your Slido. So you're gonna open up Slido and you're going to uh, sign up. It's really easy, put your email in, password, you're good to go. So I'm going to log in and I will link all of these websites down below. And then you're gonna to go to create event. And whenever you create an event, it's really easy. They even let you pick the days and the times that you want your event to be active. So I already created one. And this is where everyone's putting their answers in on their phone. 
Once you've got all of that done, you can create your Zoom meeting or go ahead and start inviting people to your Zoom meeting. Slight drawback to this website is that you cannot have an appropriate language. So if there's anything with inappropriate language, it will be it will show up on this side. So you're going to have to click a green check mark to allow it to appear on this side. So the What Do You Mean game does have an appropriate language, so that is what you're just gonna have to do, or people can code their inappropriate word and it and it should come on this side. So that's just one of the small downsides to this free resource. All right, and now what you will need as a player, you'll need a device with Zoom, a second device, like I said, preferably a phone, and then what do you mean game, or at least the statement cards. As a player, once you are logged into Zoom, you are then going to enter the Slido meeting on your second device. So let's just pretend that we're on, this is on your phone. You're going to enter the code that the host gave you. Okay, so you've entered the Slido meeting on your second device. You're going to draw seven cards of the What Do You Meme statement cards. You're going to place them all out. Look at the picture to be judged and then pick the best one. Okay, then you're gonna type in your statement card into Slido. Don't submit the answer until everyone is ready or until the timer goes off. Then you're going to discard your card and get a new one. And your answer will appear on the Slido. Hi friends, welcome to What Do You Mean? All right, has everyone entered their Slido code on their phones? Yes. Cool. All right, we're judging this picture of Marina. And I'm going to start the timer. Who's the judge? For the purpose of this video, we just all decided to be the judge. But normally, the judge does not enter a statement card. Time goes off, we're gonna submit. Yeah. Is everyone ready? Two, one. Send. Send. One has pushed submit. When you see a picture of your grandson wearing the sweater you knit for him, but the ugly, but the album says ugly sweater party. When she drives you to your homie's house and you stopped giving her directions three turns ago, but she's still going the right way. <laughs> when you remember what you looked like in sixth grade. <laughs> All right. Um, I like the sixth grade one. All right. Who is that? Who wrote that one? Me. Alexis. All right. So Alexis would get the point. And then usually you go to seven, I believe, is the normal score to go to and that is it okay that's basically it i just want to give a quick shout out to my best friend marina for letting me use her zoo picture uh, if you have any questions or if you have an easier way of playing this game somehow please let me know i am all ears thank you have fun